Ukraine is running out of ammo for its U.S.-supplied howitzers as it tries to fend off massive Russian attacks. Here's a summary of the article. Ukraine is running low on ammunition for its U.S.-supplied howitzer guns as it battles to fend off Russian attacks, CNN reported. An artillery crew for an M109 Paladin howitzer near Bakhmut said that shells were in short supply amid a holdup in U.S. aid, and they were having to ration their use. While Russia has placed its economy on a war footing, gearing up its production of shells and other types of ammunition, Ukraine's supply from its Western allies is dwindling. Despite being far wealthier, Ukraine's European allies have not yet met their target of providing Ukraine with 1 million shells. The US has supplied Ukraine with around 2,155mm rounds, the type used in the howitzer, since the conflict began, according to Defense One. Ukraine uses around 240,000 shells a month and ammunition shortages are an increasing problem as Russia intensifies attacks on Ukrainian positions on key parts of the front line. A Ukrainian soldier told CNN that Ukraine was being outgunned, and Russia also had Soviet-era ammunition reserves to draw on. This post received a score of 15,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Doesn't most NATO nations use the same size shells? Are they not producing them or something? NATO promises to deliver to Ukraine 220k shells, but they put on that 24 to 36 months? So actually this request had be done earlier, but. But whole West, maybe world, was not ready for such intense fighting. But Russia producing about 1 meter shells per year, that means they are, were prepared for the war? NATO doctrine isn't really as focused on artillery as the Russian doctrine, S. Bingo. Shells and long-range artillery as their bread and butter opposed to air superiority. We've sent around 2 million rounds. They're firing more than we can produce every month. Apparently we only produce 28k artillery rounds a month. Even with the ammo we sent from our stockpiles, the Ukrainians are using them up faster than we can resupply them. Goes to show just how ugly the fighting must be. I would rather take the fighting intensity as a given and conclude that those production numbers are severely lacking, than the other way round. Probably more true no reason produce 100,000 rounds a month or whatever when the US is at peacetime. No Congress keeps building weapons systems in their districts even when the military says they don't need more. Military spending is about jobs programs. If a shipyard or munitions factory closes in a congressman's district, one thousands of jobs dry up and they don't get re-elected. It's really hard and really expensive to spin up production of complex military systems when you need it. You need to acquire land, buildings, custom machines, raw materials, etc. Ends up being much cheaper to just continue to produce something even when you don't need it. Our shell production is really low because America relies on air dominance to fight and never imagined needing anywhere close to the amount of artillery that's being used. To hammer home your point, if you pause production on any military part, the manufacturer will retool the factory to produce something else. If the tooling isn't used for a number of years, the manufacturers will dispose of it, and the know-how from the staff will also deteriorate over time. You can't simply re-retool the factory and hire back the knowledge of the manufacturing process in a short period of time. That's why the factories continuously churn out tanks that nobody needs, because if those tanks stop getting produced, they won't get produced easily ever again. See, that time the U.S. military needed to replace the cockpit glass for its B-2 fleet, only to find they'd sold all the extra cockpit glass as surplus, meaning the feds had to track the surplus purchaser down and buy them back, at an undisclosed dollar amount. And in the U.S., we don't make tanks that nobody needs, we have tank-based products for sale to our allies. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.